Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a trumpet in my shop with a stuck second valve. When you have a stuck valve, there must be a reason for it to be stuck. So look at all the evidence you can find and see if you can find a reason why. And in this case, there's a fairly simple reason why this one is stuck. Not always, but often, when the second valve is stuck and the second valve slide has pretty severe dents in it, what probably happened is that the slide got pushed in and it pushed the metal into the casing. This trumpet was made by Yamaha and it can happen on any instrument, but it is especially common on King instruments. Even though a pushed in slide and casing are likely the cause of the problem, it's always a good idea to check out the rest of it just to make sure. Make sure you watch the video on diagnosing valve problems and the link is in the description below. A quick way to tell if that's the problem or not is take the slide with your thumb and pull back and see how that came up. You know the valve seems to be working and then if I let go the problem is back. I'll show you how to solve this problem but be careful there are things that can go wrong when you do this and I'll show you those at the end of the video. The way to fix this is to pull out the slide that does not have the reverse construction and I'll show you what the reverse construction looks like. On the third slide there's an inner slide tube and an outer slide tube so this one will not work. The first slide has two inner slides so that's one we will use. So what you do is you put the first slide into the second slide slot and that gives you a little more leverage to work with and then you carefully push, try not to push too hard and then you usually you push until it goes a little too far in the other direction and I can tell the valve is starting to stick a little bit and then when you let go it should be fine and I think that should fix the problem now. That seems to have fixed the problem. If it still sticks after that, you can try it again. If you have a trumpet where both the first and third slides are reverse construction, you can take both of them. Just be careful to push them evenly together. Sometimes only one or the other is bent and not both of them. And the way to check for that is to hold it up and line up the slides and then see if they're lined up or not. These ones are lined up, but if it's not, usually the one that's pushed in is the one that has the problem on it. If you think that one or the other is bad and likely it's not both, just put it into one of them and push with a little bit of force, not too much, and then see if the valve works better. If you can get the valve to work under pressure, then fix it the same way as you would if both of them were bad by pushing just a little bit farther and then when you let go, if the valve works, then it's fixed. Sometimes they both might be bent, but just a different amount. So then you'd have to do it twice. Uh, try it once until the valve works a little bit better and then try the other one until the valve works out like it's supposed to. If the valve still does not work and you're pretty sure you've correctly diagnosed the problem, pull the valve out and also pull off the bottom valve cap. If there's still a problem, you can take the correct ground casing mandrel. In this case, it's 665 thousandths for a Yamaha trumpet and then put it in there and see if it goes in all the way. In this case it does not. And I'm going to put this in here and push slightly and see how it drops. Just the weight of it will drop it. If you're still having a problem at this point, take both of the slides and put them in there. And the reason you're using both in this case is so that you can push on it with different force on each one. Then use a different amount of force pushing a little harder on one than on the other and just keep changing until the ground casing mandrel drops and then make a note of which one you're pushing harder or softer and how hard you're pushing. Then after you've made a note of that, pull the mandrel out. The reason you pull the mandrel out is when it's hollow inside, it makes it easier to round out the casing. And then remember how much force you put on there. And I'm using two thumbs here. Then push a little bit harder than you did to get the mandrel to go down. Then when you're done with that, put the mandrel in and see if it will go down without pushing on the sides. You might have to do that several times until it works like it's supposed to. And then of course the real test is if it works with the valve in. And if it works, then you are done. Sometimes on rare occasion, the slide may have been skewed when it got damaged. And if you push the slide in, then the valve might stick again. In this case, it does not, but sometimes it does happen. What you'd have to do then is get the dents out of the slide and make sure that the slide is straight and not skewed. What can happen if the slide is bent or skewed, when you put it in, it can bend these tubes and then cause the valve not to work again. Something to watch out for, because this slide sticks out farther, when you push on this, if you push too hard, 
these slide tubes can come off and if they do then you have to solder them back on and try again. If you did not have the ability to solder these back on, you need to be extra careful because they do pop off at times. I would say for me about one out of every five repairs, one of these comes loose. So if you do not have the ability to solder these back on, be very careful or you might want to think about taking it to a repair shop and have them do it for you. On a video it's hard to explain how much force you can use before these tubes come off and also it's different on different trumpets. If you get a junk trumpet that you can practice on first, try it, push as hard as you can until it breaks. Then you will get some sort of feel how hard you can push before th things start to break. Sometimes this can happen on a third valve too and if it does pull out the main tuning slide and that leaves all this cluster free to move around then you can take the trumpet and push on it one direction or pull on it the other direction or you can also go up or down and as you're doing that check the valve out and see if you can get it to get unstuck and then if it does you know that that's the problem and you know which way to push and approximately how hard to push. It's almost the same repair on the third valve as it would be on the second valve. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos. And also look in the description below for links to other videos on stuck valves.